Good day everyone. If you have a HP printer you have newly bought or if you are trying to install on a new computer, no matter you are using Windows 7, Windows 8, 10 or 11, this video is for you. So if you are using any HP printer, I will tell you the best way to install the driver and the software of HP. Within 5 minutes you can install any HP printer driver on any Windows operating system. And guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe. And please open your any any of your favorite browser and at the very top type hp.com. Now once you do that, a new window will appear like this where you have explore, shop, and support. So once you go to this support, you will find software drivers, the very first option. And the best way to download the driver just scroll down more and here you will find an option called download drivers under support so you can click on that and once you click on that a new window will appear like this from here you can change the country for example if you want to select united states so once you have selected printer laptop desktop and others so we will click on this printer and here we can enter the product name. Now if you're using LaserJet, All-in-One, Ink, or any other printer, you can type here. So for example, if I'm using HP 1020 printer, so I'll just select HP Laser NS 102 printer series. And from here, we can select the operating system. You can see detected operating system However, if you want to choose manually, you can select it right here. If you're using Windows 11, you can select that. If you're using Windows 10, 8, 8.1, 7, or even if you're using Windows Server, you can select that. And from here, you can choose the operating system. So once you're done with the selection of the operating system, you will get all the options here to download. Now in here, you will find basic driver software utility. If you want to install the basic driver, you can do that. Or my recommendation would be download the software utility. So software utility will have everything. It will have the driver as well as the printer software for scanning and everything. So there will be a complete software. So you can install it. If you want to install the complete software of HP for that particular printer, go to the software utility and download it from here. So you can see right here, I have this HP laser print and scanner driver accessories. So I'll just click on that because it has everything in it and it is more convenient to use it. So once you click on that, the files will start getting downloaded. You can see here it's, it's at the left hand side, it's getting downloaded. So once it is downloaded, you just need to click on that to open and it will ask you to say yes. You can see it's right now opening and it's extracting right now. So once it will ask you to say yes, click on that and a new window will appear very soon. From here, you just need to click on continue and please make sure that you have connected your printer to the computer wirelessly or through USB. You can also connect if you have a network printer, you can connect it to your router so that once it will try to find it, it will get it. So remove the packing, make sure you have the printer ready to print and connect it to either the network or the USB to the computer. So I'll click on continue and here you just need to click on continue again and you just need to check mark and click on accept printer analytics you can say yes or no thanks and from here you can it's up to you if you want to send the analytics or you can simply click on yes or no so here it's installing the HP laserjet printer now here since it's not a network printer, you will get an option. If you're using a network printer, you will have other options as well. 
Now this is a USB printer, so if it's connected to USB, connect, it, uh, connect the laptop with your printer and then click on continue and you can click on next. Since the printer is not connected here, if you have not connected your printer right now, you can check mark this continue, else you can connect the printer and it will ask to click on next. Currently it's not connected, that's why I'm getting an option to skip. So once you do that, it will ask you to finish it. And next time when you will connect your printer, here at the top right, at the bottom right corner, you have the printer icon, or you can simply go to the start menu and go to the all apps. No matter you're using Windows 10, 11, or eight, from here you can select the HP printer and then you can start printing. So if, if we go here and type printer, and scanner in the search icon I can open it here and you will have the printer here and if you do not see any printer here you can select add device and you can select your printer since the driver and software is already installed it will detect it automatically so you can do that let me know if you have successfully installed the HP printer driver in your computer and if you have any and you will also have this icon on your desktop of your product. So you can simply double click on that and then you can install the printer driver again when you have connect. And guys, since you have since we have installed the printer driver on the desktop, we will have the icon for printer and scanner and the printer driver icon here. So you can simply open that it will open up the software and it will ask you to say yes and then you can connect to your device and you can start using it so you can let me know in the comment section if you have successfully done it and please hit the like and subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful day